Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Tsi Putsi with me Putsi and for today's video it's time for me to give you my skincare routine for 2018 and if you want to see what are the products I use for my skincare routine then just keep on watching So before we continue, this video is part of my end of 2018 series so if you want to check the schedule, what videos I'm going to post every single Monday in December 2018 then just check the description box down below I already post my 2018 favorite face mask so if you want to know what face mask I currently love or currently use throughout the entire 2018 I'm going to leave a link to that video down below and also up here on the eye definitely check that out because in this video I'm not going to mention any of the face masks just strictly my skincare routine other than the face mask <laughs> by the way I'm so sorry it's currently like raining outside I know I'm you probably can hear that so I'm so sorry for the audio but there's nothing I can do about that now my skin is very very sensitive I have very very oily skin acne prone I have a lot of deep pitted acne scars redness dark pigmentation I know you can really see because I have foundation on but I will show you a picture of me applying all these skincare products as I talk about them so don't worry I had the worst acne for years and years and years i used to have a lot of large cystic acne around like all over my face for years since i was 16 it only get better like around a year or a year and a half ago because i went to see a gynecologist because i always have my period very very late i have my period only once every two or three months which is really bad i should have went to the doctor way sooner and as it turned out i have pcos that's the reason why i have a lot of acne and also why i have a very hard time losing weight i gain a lot of like excessive amount of weight around the same time I have a lot of acne so my acne is definitely way more internal like hormonal thing so as I try to balance out my hormone from the inside that's when I see a huge difference in terms of my skin but nonetheless even though it is because of my PCOS I feel like all the skincare products that I use on top of my skin is definitely help to improve the appearance, the textures of my skin and just helps my skin to get even better. I think the main thing that really helped me throughout the years for my acne is definitely changing my lifestyle, really control what I eat. I don't eat a lot of junk food anymore. I eat normally like I don't really count the calories or anything like that but I just really control what type of food I eat. I eat more healthy. I exercise a lot i drink a lot of water i try to have a lot better sleeping routine i used to sleep like very very late at night almost in the morning but now i sleep before midnight so all of those things combined with all the skincare products that i use really help me so i hope this video can still somewhat help you who are struggling out there who have acne and also have a lot of acne scar redness dark pigmentation hyperpigmentation and all of that because most of the products i'm going to mention here is mainly for acne acne scars improve redness dark pigmentation control oiliness and all of that so <laughs> i mean i'm not a dermatologist so don't really quote me on everything i say here and there are still a lot of different skincare products out there that might work even better than all the products I'm going to mention but at least for me, from my own experience, all these products works for me. I haven't tried every single skincare product out there but there are also a lot of products that just breaking me out instead of helping my skin. So all these products works pretty good for me. So first for my morning skincare routine, I wash my face first with the Senka Perfect Whip Collagen In. This is a Japanese brand by the way. I used to use the Cetaphil one and that works great for my skin. I used them for years but I just really want to try this one. But if you can find this one, the Cetaphil one is a really great product. It works 
for a lot of different skin type it's very gentle mild but it cleans your face really nicely it's not gonna completely strip down your face it's not gonna dry up your face it's really nice face wash but this is just something I currently like because it's has collagen in it it has a foamy consistency you just have to really rub this on your face for a couple of seconds or maybe even a minute and then apply them to your face rinse them off and it will deep cleanse your face without stripping down all the moisture from your skin it contains collagen and two different hyaluronic acids so it will still moisturize your skin and i noticed with this face wash my skin still feels very smooth afterwards and doesn't feel dehydrated whatsoever so i think it will be perfect for those of you who have dry skin as well after i cleanse my face i apply either the ordinary niacinamide or the ordinary alpha arbutin 2% plus hyaluronic acid i apply them alternately i don't apply them together all at once because i don't think it's necessary for me to apply both so i usually apply the niacinamide if i know i'm not going to apply foundation or any makeup that day because the consistency of it is really nice it spread out really nicely but under foundation it can kind of change turns into these tiny little balls like it's a little bit weird almost like dry patches I, I don't know it's weird so I don't really apply that before foundation so most of the time in the morning I apply this the alpha arbutin 2% plus hyaluronic acid by the way if you want to see my complete in-depth review about the ordinary products I already have that up on my channel I will link that video down below and also up here in the eye the only products I do have in this video that I don't have in that video is this one and the azelaic acid so so i'm not going in, into detail about any other ordinary product i'm going to mention here but for this product this is a really great serum for those of you who have a lot of redness acne scars hyperpigmentation it will even out our skin tone reduce the redness dark pigmentation and the hyaluronic acid in this one will improve the performance of the alpha arbutin while give a uh, give our skin moisturization so it's a really great product overall you can apply this in morning or night time and you'll notice in this video i mentioned a lot of products to help reduce the redness and the acne scars but in this case the type of acne scars that will reap all the benefits from all these products is the type of acne scars that are mostly just on top of our skin like the redness dark pigmentation and all of that if you have a lot of large dependent acne scars like me there are more textural and like very deep inside our skin that's not going to reap a lot of benefit from these products because these type of acne scars will only get better if we do like an acne scar removal treatment so i'm currently undergoing acne scar treatment i'm going to make a video about it someday maybe in a few months because i really want to complete the treatment first before i give you a review or share my experience i really want to see the real results first so if you want to see that definitely let me know and as soon as i finish up the treatment i will try to make that video for you guys but yeah after that i apply eye cream this is the mizon multifunction formula snail repair eye cream it's a very moisturizing eye cream i don't know if it will help to reduce the puffiness or dark under eye because i don't have a puffy under eye or a very dark under eye so i don't know how it works for that but it will moisturize your under eye and eye skin area because i have this problem a few weeks back when i first do i swatches video maybe my skin was like shocked it just gets very dry and crusty and have i have a lot of dry patches around my eye area and i use this every single day and after a few days my skin gets so much better and it's not as dry anymore for those of us who have very oily skin oily eyelid it's not going to be too oily or greasy because it has a very thin creamy consistency and it doesn't feel thick or heavy whatsoever around the eye so it's not going to make our under eye or lid area too oily which is great 
then for moisturizer i use either of these two products the first one is the cosar x advanced snail 96 mushin or musin power essence or this one from secret key snail plus egf repairing gel cream you notice both of them are made out of snail why i love this type of moisturizer so much because even though you have very oily skin you still need some type of hydration and moisturization because if not your skin will get dehydrated so because your skin have the ability to produce more oil if your skin is dehydrated your skin will give signal to produce more oil because yours because it thinks that your skin needs some more hydration and moisturization so your skin ended up getting way more oily than it already did so you still need a moisturizer or face oil or something like that so in the morning i use a moisturizer that are very lightweight and it will provide me with hydration but not too much which is why i like this type of moisturizer both of them made out of snail because they are very hydrating and moisturizing but the consistency of it like i said before is very thin and almost gel like i currently ran out of this but i love this one both of them didn't break me out whatsoever it's enough hydration not too much this one feels more like a gel like a thick watery gel but this one feels more runny more lightweight and feels a lot more like water but both of them sinks into the skin really fast really nicely it's not greasy whatsoever but if you cannot find this around you just find a moisturizer that has more like a gel consistency or have a thinner consistency that won't be too greasy for you or too heavy then that's really the type of moisturizer that will work for those of us who have oily skin now this step is one of the most important thing in our morning skincare routine is sunscreen even if you don't apply any skincare product this is the only thing you always always have to put on your skin before you go out before you run out the door even if you don't go anywhere even if i only live here in my cocoon here in my room I always apply sunscreen because even from our lights it can make a damage to our skin like and this one I mentioned this in my channel a couple of times before because I really really love this this is a very great sunscreen for those of us who have oily skin because it has a very thin watery consistency it's not greasy thick whatsoever it sinks right into the skin really fast it really does feels like water it doesn't have a white cast and it's spf 50 so that's great and after it sets down it has this like velvety finish on your skin it feels very smooth and honestly i like the feeling of it but i believe it contains alcohol so if your skin is very sensitive to alcohol or if you have dry skin i suggest get away from this one and get another sunscreen that will works for you but whatever sunscreen you prefer as long as you always always put on sunscreen every single morning then that's already great because this is the most important step in your skincare morning routine next is Vaseline lip therapy this is my favorite lip balm i always apply this every single morning i usually apply this and then apply some makeup if i'm going to apply makeup that day and if i'm going to apply a bullet lipstick i usually wrap this off first and then apply the lipsticks but if i'm going to apply liquid lipstick it sits nicely under liquid lipstick so yeah this is um my current favorite lip balm it's not very very hydrating but it's pretty good in my opinion and it's super affordable and i don't know i like this type of balm that i have to dig my finger in it it's not very hygienic but i don't know for lip balm i quite like that type of tube I don't really apply foundation every single day so most of the time after this i just apply concealer blend them in set them with powder and then apply a little bit of bronzer and highlight and a little bit of blush and apply a little bit of everything except for my foundation and then i'm done now for my nighttime skincare routine it's way more intricate and i have way more product than the morning skincare routine it's actually a little bit too excessive but i don't know everything that i put here is 
working pretty well for me I don't have a lot of acne or breakout anymore I only have acne like only around that time of the month around my period this first step is only if I have a makeup on that day if I have like something like this or a concealer or any type of makeup really I clean my face first with micellar water to really get rid of the mascara, eyebrow products, eyeshadow, lipstick and foundation to really break down all of them but if i don't apply any makeup that day i usually skip this step and just go ahead with my double cleansing step i always do double cleansing at night even if you don't apply makeup you have you applied sunscreen in the morning and if you only wash your face once i feel like it's not gonna be enough there's still going to be some residue from the sunscreen on, on your face so i just want to make sure that my face is completely clean before I go to sleep which is why I do double cleansing every single night I apply this first the Kose Cosme Port Speedy Cleansing Oil this is from Japan I don't think this is the best cleansing oil I have ever tried but I have quite a lot of them in my drawer so I really wanna finish them up before I try another cleansing oil but just use any cleansing oil that you like this one it's not so great for a very heavy really waterproof mascara or something like that but it works pretty good for me just apply them when your face is dry rub them on your skin very gently and then afterward rinse your face and this oil will turn into a milky consistency and with just water it will completely cleans them off it will break down and cleans all the dirt from your pores all the makeup residue that's still left on your skin from after micellar water and also get rid of the excess micellar water as well and then afterwards apply your favorite cleanser which in this case i use the same cleanser which is this one right here or the cetaphil one after this is supposed to be toner i really want to use and include toner in my skincare routine but unluckily i haven't found a toner that works for me all the toner i have tried in the past ended up breaking me out i've tried the witch hazel toner i tried the one from etude house i tried a couple of other toners as well but it always ended up breaking me out and currently i'm in the hunt for a great toner for my skin type i am going to buy the ordinary glycolic toning solution i think that's a toner right so in 2019 i will use that and we'll see if that works for me but just use some type of toner because the ph level on our skin is kind of unbalanced because of all the cleansing that we do and toner will balance them out again it has a lot of other benefits for our skin but because i haven't found one i cannot really tell you what other things they great for but if you already found a toner that you like then this is the time you apply your toner and after that i apply this but this is only once a week this is the ordinary ah at 30 percent plus bh at two percent peeling solution you can apply this up to twice a week i think but if you have sensitive skin i suggest only apply them once a week or once every two week this is a water-based exfoliant with alpha and beta hydroxy hydroxy acids it will even out your skin tone give your skin radiance it will exfoliate pores to help clear congestion in result it will help to fight acne so if you have acne this is a pretty good kind of mild peeling solution it will smooth out your skin improve your skin texture in general while also reduce the appearance of fine lines it has a lot of healing properties so it's perfect for acne scars as well you apply this all over your face don't apply too much but just apply enough to cover your whole entire face leave them on for only 10 minutes don't leave this more than 10 minutes and then afterward rinse them off my skin instantly feels very very smooth and it instantly brighten up 
your skin complexion and I feel like it really does a great job of improving your skin textures and really helps to reduce the redness on my face it's not too harsh it's still quite comfortable on the face when you put them it's not going to be too like too hot or too tingly or anything like that I in my opinion it's still pretty mild but if you are new to peeling or exfoliant or something like this just use them like I said once every two weeks first and then slowly get to once a week now these next steps I don't do this every single day most of the time only like three times a week maybe like I said if I apply the alpha arbutin in the morning I will apply the niacinamide at night or vice versa so if I apply niacinamide at night I won't apply this because this has ascorbic acid in it and you cannot combine ascorbic acid and niacinamide all at once in the same application the same night it will defeat the purpose the niacinamide technically will will do nothing for your skin if you apply them with acid so I only apply this if I by the alpha arbutin at night this is the melano cc by roto again sorry this is a japanese skincare product but if you can get your hands on this definitely try them because i think this is a pretty great product this contain a stable form of vitamin c also vitamin e it has alpinia katsumodaisit extract i I think that's how you pronounce it. It also contains ascorbic acid like I mentioned before and also tosopheryl acetate and some other ingredients I cannot really pronounce but this is a really great product to brighten up your skin complexion. This will really help to reduce redness on your skin and if you use this combined with alpha arbutin, it's it will works even better like these two combined is like a match made in heaven for those of us who have a lot of acne scars it will also soften and hydrate your skin so you don't have to worry if it's going to dry out your skin but just be aware if you have very sensitive skin there are ingredients in these products that can be a little bit irritating irritating for your skin which is also why i only use this three times a week it will also help to slow the production of melanin and in result it will help to prevent dark spot or dark pigmentation or hyperpigmentation on your face and it will also help to improve collagen production so that's great for me because i have a lot of acne scars and i need a lot of collagen right and by the way, if you want to apply the peeling solution, I suggest you apply them in the days you don't have the melano CC, I think, because it will be a little bit too much maybe for your skin. It can be irritating or make your skin feels a lot more sensitive if you apply them together. So if I apply that, I'm going straight into alpha arbutin like I said before, but if I don't apply the melano CC, so after toner or in my case, after face wash, I apply the niacinamide niacinamide is a vitamin b3 it's a water-based serum which is why we apply this very early on in our skincare regimen it will help to reduce the appearance of blemishes it will help to clear pores congestion it will also help balancing the sebum production on our skin which is great for those of us who have oily skin it will also help to reduce redness reduce enlarged pores it will also even add our skin tone so basically almost kind of the same with the alpha arbutin except this one will works a lot better for those of us who have oily skin and also for those of us who have acne it's not going to cure acne but it will helps to diminish or minimizes the appearance of them so that's great by the way, I forgot to mention, I usually apply my face mask after the double cleansing. Except for sheet masks, I usually apply them after toner or after niacinamide or after the first type of serum you have on your skincare routine. And it works as like an essence, I think. After that, I used to apply the retinoid from The Ordinary. I don't really remember the name. I think it's... They changed the name. I think it's now called gurnactive retinoid 2% but that works for me that helps to improve our skin textures and also helps to minimize these fine lines and all of that but I just haven't had a chance to buy another one 
but I think next year I will include retinoid again in my skincare routine but after that I applied eye cream just like in the morning I used the same product last year I used the ordinary caffeine solution but that didn't really work all that great for me it's an okay product but I don't feel like I really need that product that one is very liquidy so I don't really like applying them but if you know a really great eye cream preferably affordable definitely let me know in the comment down below what's your favorite eye cream I will try that in the future and then I apply as a like acid suspension from the ordinary it has a similar function to the niacinamide like what else is you almost all the products I mentioned tend to do that for our skin so it's just basically great for my skin condition at the moment and it will also works great for those of you who have rosacea because it contains an antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties it has a very creamy gel consistency and it also smells a little bit weird and I have this weird thing with my body that I can really taste a smell and it doesn't taste good because of the smell it kind of linger a little bit and I can kind of taste it for a couple of minutes but if you don't usually taste something based on its smell then you will be fine it sinks quite fast into the skin but I don't know it has this kind of velvety silky finish and it will leave your skin feels like that for a little bit it almost feels like I have a silicone based primer I don't know but that's what it feels like in my opinion now this is my favorite step I apply this alternately the first one is the ordinary 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil or I apply the Coser X Honey Overnight Mask this is the product that will really hydrate my skin especially since now I have AC on my room and my skin will feel a little bit dehydrated in the morning and it will retain all the moisture and hydration I need when I sleep even if you have oily skin the key is just to find the oil that has a perfect consistency for your skin if you have oily skin just choose an oil that have more a more thinner lightweight consistency face oil is really great for your skin and I've tried tamanu oil argan oil before they are supposed to be very beneficial for you especially tamanu oil is great for acne as well but since the consistency is very very thick it kind of clogged my pores and it ended up breaking me out but with rosehip oil it works perfectly fine for me it can also help reduce the redness it helps to improve your skin textures it also helps to clear your pores and helps to fight acne so for those of you who have acne scars acne a lot of redness dark pigmentation this is a great great oil for you this is one of my favorite products from the ordinary not just because it is a great oil because it is also very very affordable compared to any other rosehip oil from the market and it's perfect for me it has a very light thinner consistency it's not a thick oil whatsoever I usually just put three drops on my finger rub them a little bit and then tap them into my skin it's not greasy whatsoever it doesn't feel very sticky as well it will sink into the skin quite fast you can go to sleep afterwards and it feels very nice on the skin it hydrates my skin it helps to fight my acne I mean what else can I ask for it literally savior like you really need rosehip oil on your skincare routine if you have acne and acne scars like you really need one if I can only suggest you one product for your nighttime skincare routine, it's probably this one. And if I don't apply the rosehip oil, I will apply the Coser X overnight mask or any other sleeping mask. I currently order the watermelon sleeping mask, which I'm very excited about. It's very bougie, it's very expensive for me. So if I like them then it's it will be a nightmare because then I have to buy another one but I really want to try that one it's very interesting to me and it looks really great so I cannot wait for that and I cannot wait to include that in my skincare routine but if you want to know 
my thoughts about the Corsair X1 then just watch my face mask favorite video this next step is not necessary I don't do this every single day I only apply this if I have acne at the moment or any other breakout this is the Mario Badescu this is the Mario Badescu Mario Badescu Mario Badescu Mario Badescu Mario Mario Badescu Mario Badescu you know this brand right here I cannot pronounce this I'm so sorry but this is a very famous drying lotion but I can't pronounce this so I'm so sorry for that you just have to dip a cotton bud in it and then get the pink powder from the bottom of the bottle and then apply them on top of your acne and it really helps in just one or two days but if you have a large six stick acne like I currently have one here I think it's not going to help like a lot but it will help to really reduce them over time so it's a, it works great for me and it's one of the most favorite or most famous drying lotion out there in the market and just apply them on top of your acne you're not supposed to apply this anywhere else and you're not supposed to shake the bottle because you only need the pink powder on the bottom the last step finally in my nighttime skincare routine is this Laneige lip sleeping mask this is their travel size which is why it's very very tiny i'm planning to get the full size now because it's a really really great sleeping mask it really hydrates and plump your lips and if you have a very dark tinted lips like i do i have a very dark lips over time it will really helps to make your lip looks more juicy and more like red or pink or like you know especially if you have a very dry chap lips this will really helps to moisturize your lips and it will just make your lip feels juicy this is very 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 not creamy but almost like very thick gel so i don't like applying this in the morning which is why it is called sleeping master <laughs> and so yeah i apply this at night the very last step and leave them on till the morning so those are the products and my skincare routine it's a very long video i know i'm so sorry but overall i do really recommend all these products for you if you decide to try the products i mentioned i hope it will work for you as well and i hope you get a lot better clear skin in the future but yeah i really do hope this video can help you and if you do find this video somewhat helpful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up that will really helps me as well also subscribe to my channel the subscribe button is right down below and don't forget to leave a comment what products that works for you what what skincare products in your skincare routine and if you tried any of the products i mentioned did it work for you or not let me know and lastly i just want to say thank you so much for watching and i hope i can see you in my next video bye guys because i want to see a because most of the products i'm going to mention here what all all the make like i said i already have it